Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I suck at creating drum patterns. Yes, they are always uninspiring, repetitive, far too simple. It's actually the part of the music making process that I enjoy the least. But perhaps Reason's beat map can come to the rescue because it uses algorithms to create cool sounding beats. And today we are going to put it to the test. As always, let's start by dragging some devices into the rack. We will need, of course, some drums. So let's use Red Rum today. Not Redrum, I'm led to believe it's pronounced Red Rum. And this is one of the instruments that was in Reason 1, released 20 years ago. So this one has stood the test of time. I like it over Kong because it's simpler. Kong is an alternative drum machine we have. It's simpler and you can see all eight tracks at the same time. So I like it. We can launch some other kits. Just drag them in there. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. We can use that for our demonstrations. Now we need to get the player device, which we have here. We will find a beat map here. If we put it on top, then it will actually send MIDI into the drums. It's a player device, which means it actually manipulates and sends MIDI into whatever device we have below. So that's our setup for today. We can actually press, press play, I guess, and get it running immediately, see what we have out of the box. Yeah, all right, so we're off to a pretty good start. The first task we need to do is a little bit tedious, and it's a shame that propeller heads couldn't make this slightly more automatic, but we have to assign or make sure that we have the right drums assigned to each track. We have four tracks in the beat map, which is up here on the top with the nice map in the window here. We have a kick, snare, hat, and percussion, and we need to make sure that they are mapped up to the eight drum sounds that we have here correctly. As you load in different drum sounds, you will find that they are, the different sounds are mapped to different channels here. So there's a bit of a setup to do first. So let's do that now. I'm just going to solo the kick drum. the metronome going as well. I wonder if it's M to disable that or C. Let's try M. Nope, C. Yeah. So the kick is always on C1. That's pretty standard. The snare. Let's go for C2 or D. D1. D1. So if you pull up the snare now, get it to play. These big orange knobs are just the intensity or the busyness of each drum channel. So we can now turn those down. We've found the right kick and snare. The hi-hats are usually... I think it might be G. Let's try that. Go all the way up to G. Some percussion. Well, there's lots to choose for, but let's go for C sharp. Yeah, it would be kind of cool if it could do this for you, perhaps by looking at the names of the samples that you've got loaded into all the slots, and just choosing the appropriate note for you. That would be kind of nice. So let's see what we've got. Uh, just using our default position on the map. We use the map later to choose the style or the variation of the drums that are playing. But let's see what we've got just by default here. So I've got a kick, let's turn it up to the middle. Hi-hat. I'm using control click just to set it to a default value. I'm not hearing any hi-hats. There's a percussion. Not much hat action. I've I've got that wrong. That should be G1. So let's drag that one down. Yeah, the other demos don't show you show you this kind of stuff, but I like to show you the entire journey. Let's see if we got some hats now. Here we do. I've set all of these four channels to the medium busyness of the patterns. Let's have a wander around the map.
Yeah, like that. Let's change the drums so they don't get too annoying for us. Um, let's see. Let's go for some hip hop kits, perhaps. Let's go for that one instead. A nice electronic kit. Now, if you find a bass drum pattern you like, you can lock it in there by dropping a pin. And we can navigate around, find another snare. So we can lock these two and adjust the hat pattern perhaps by wandering around the map. Okay, there are different maps available as well. I'm not sure what the difference is between all of these. Let's load this one and have a listen. Reset them back to default. Take away the pins. Try another map. We have this one, uh, hot, fluid, funky. That's my kind of thing, a nice red color. Let's have a listen. And I'm not sure what these contours mean either, if that's just eye candy, which I suspect it is, or does it indicate the bus busyness of the, the patterns? I'm not sure. That's actually pretty cool. Let's add a little bit of shuffle. It's always nice to have something around 50%. If you're feeling adventurous, you can just randomly spawn somewhere in the map. Let's try that. We can also randomize the density. Okay, that's the official word for these knobs here. I was saying busyness or intensity. Density, let's try that. All right, I'm liking this. This is pretty good. I'm gonna show you one more feature here, but I'll find another nice drum sound so we don't get too annoyed. Okay, let's try this R&B kit. I really want something that has a nice open and closed hi-hat. This'll do. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm gonna make sure everything is mapped up here. I want the kick there. Snare is okay. In the end, I went for a good old 808 with these particular sounds. And now I'm going to use this mirror feature so we can trigger actually four more sounds. Let's turn off the snare hat and percussion for now. So we'll just run with this one, just with the kick. If I start turning up the mirror here, you'll hear it alternating between the C1 and the E1. So that's the sound on E1. Let's take a listen. So you get some nice off beats there going on, which I quite like. This is just the volume, so let's put it about there. So I'm doing the same thing here as well. We're using the mirror, which is playing, I think every third note or something using the D one in between the C sharp ones. So it's doing a clap there. Pretty cool, let's turn up the hat. I'm just going to play the hat in isolation because it's quite nice here. You can have a nice open closed hi-hat thing going on. Take a listen. The percussion. Iconic. I'll be back a little bit later in the video to give you my first impressions of this rather interesting device and tell you if I think I will be using this for my own tracks in the future. But until then, in the meantime, I think the best way to show this off would be to use some of the factory presets that combine 
grooves created using Beatmap with some really nice drum kits. So I'll put together for you now a little two minute mega mix. Let's wrap this up then with a summary of my first impressions. No doubt at all that this is a very interesting device and it must have been a lot of fun for the team of developers to build. Yes, it does deliver on the promise and gives you some great, really funky and inspiring beats in no time at all. I think it's really nice in particular how you can just turn the knobs to get a change in intensity for a chorus or chill it out a bit for the breakdown or just automate the density for fills without having to actually program the individual hits. That's a huge time saver. I think though there is some potential for this to be even better. It seems to me like the patterns are not very long, just one bar, maybe two, and they do get quite repetitive. It would have been great to have some randomization, perhaps plot a route around the map to add some variation. Of course, you can automate all of these parameters, but it would have been nice to have that built into the device. Having some kind of auto mapping of beat map channels to the drum channels so it would find the right samples and the right notes would have been a really nice time saver because that does get quite tedious. The bottom line then, will I use it? Well, I'll certainly give it a try next time I write a track, but I think I probably will continue to play in my tracks in real time. You see, I always have some idea in my head of what drums I need, so it's actually quicker for me just to play it in rather than hunting around the map for something similar to what I have in mind. I guess it's a bit like synth presets. Sometimes it's quicker to create one from scratch than scrolling through and auditioning hundreds. Talking of patterns and presets, I would actually love to have some pre-programmed patterns organized by genre and then be able to adjust the busyness or density of the patterns. I loved Steinberg's Groove Agent for this. Reason comes with some truly inspiring audio loops and drum kits, but the drum sequencer devices don't seem to come with any factory programmed patterns, which I always thought was a bit of a shame. Unless I'm missing something here, in which case do let me know in the comments, but I can't find any MIDI drum patterns, and that would be a real advantage when composing songs. Anyway, this is the first version and I'm sure that the team can build on this. It's a very interesting concept and works really well. I'd love to see more AI in synths and drum machines come to think of it, not only to play patterns and riffs, but to do sound design. Can you imagine? You liked this synth pad, perhaps you'd like this one, and then have the synthesizer create presets for you on the fly. 
Actually, I'd love to see an end to presets entirely and just have the synthesizer generate unique combinations for you depending on some criteria that you choose. How hard can it be? There you go then, that wraps up my video about Beatmap. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thank you as always for watching and a special thanks to my patrons and channel members. You guys are the best. I'll see you all next time. Cheerio.